so if I have two elements and I want to choose one, uh, I would just say I have two elements and I want to choose one of them, and I would either let my calculator do it or I would do my ncr equals n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial, and I would get to choose one is two factorial over two minus one is one factorial times an extra one factorial. So you just get two factorial, which is two. And that makes sense. If there are two elements and you want to choose one of them, there are only two ways of doing it. You can choose one or the other. Uh, they, for some reason, want you to use, um, well, not for some reason, but Pascal's triangle is actually created from these combinations. Um, this is, um, if you have two elements and you want to choose one of them, you go, I don't know why they say the second row, because it kind of ends up being the third row, if you kind of count this as the zeroth row, the first row, the second row. Go to the one with the two in it, if you have two things. And this is if you want to choose zero things, choose one thing, choose two things. So it always, they, it always starts off with a zero. So if I want to choose one, choose zero, choose one, I get two. Down here it would be like if you had um, three things. And if you want to choose none of them, there's one way to do that. If you want to choose one, there's three ways. Two, there's three ways. Three, there's one way. Uh, yes. So that's that. And so if you were to do, like this little guy here would be um, three things, choose zero, one of them. And this would, so if you did that, it would work. It's kind of cool. So if you wanted to generate the next uh, level, all of these numbers are coming from combinations. They also are coming from adding them and getting the one above it. So 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5. There are ones on the outside because there are zeros on the outside of everything. So 1 plus 5 is 6, 5 plus 10 is 15, 10 plus 10 is 20, 10 plus 5 is 15, 5 plus 1 is give me the 6 with ones on the outside. And so that's how you can generate it going down, but it turns out that each one of these numbers is a combination. So let's say this one here, this would be 6, choose 0, 1, 2. So if you practice 6, choose 2, that's going to be 15. And 6, choose 3 will be 20. And 6, choose 4 will be 15. And 6, choose 5 will be the 6. And 6, choose 6 will be 1. So this last row is 6 choose 0, 6 choose 1. So 6 choose 0 is 1, 6 choose 1 is 6, 6 choose 2 is 15, 6 choose 3 is 20, 6 choose 4 is 15, 6 choose 5 is 6, 6 choose 1 is 1. Yay. <laughs> uh, hopefully that's clear as mud, right? Um, yeah, there you go.